Hi everyone, welcome back to The Bent Knitter. So I wanted to do a review on something a little bit different this week. Instead of a yarn, I wanted to do a review on a piece of equipment that I just recently got about a week, week and a half ago. I got a Swifter. Uh, this is what it's called, kind of a nice one. A little pricey, but not too pricey. But um, what these are used for is to assist in winding skeins of yarn, um, especially if you have stuff like this. It's how it's used to make them into center pull balls, which I love, and most of my yarn is. If they're not already center pulled, they're made into center pull, which it makes my life so much easier and great. Um, and for years and years, I've had ball winders, either a, a manual one where you kind of, there's a crank on it, or electric one, which I got a little while ago, which is great. But before I got the Swifter, I'd actually have to like hold the yarn out as you know it was winding or put on a chair or something like that. And it took a while. It was kind of a little bit of a slower process. Um, sometimes it would get tangled, so you'd have to stop winding, untangle it, um, make sure it doesn't get horrendously tangled, and keep going. Now with this, um, which is kind of nifty, it holds the yarn in place so that way you can just wind off this and this kind of spins around. Um, and I highly recommend getting one of these in case, if you have this space to. Um, I know for a long time why I hesitated in getting one was because I never knew where to put it. Um, because it is not, as you can tell, not exactly a small piece of thing, equipment, but, um, but it does collapse. So I highly recommend it. I will put in the link, uh, links below, um, of wall winders of like a cheap and expensive one. And a ball winder of this one that I got and something a little bit cheaper. But I highly recommend getting one of these, especially if you like center pulls and you use a lot of hanks like this. It will make your life so much easier. Just because I, in an hour, I could ball up four or five balls of yarn, probably yarn more, but before it took me quite a bit longer. So as you can see, I had some practice with some others. Um, so I highly recommend it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below of either the Swift or Sender Pull or what have you, or other equipment that you're interested in and let me know. Um, I will take a look at it and see if I can do a review and get some, get some for you. Um, and I will probably put a little bit of the Yarn Swift right next at the end of this video so I can take a look at how it works. All right, I will see you next week. Bye.